Hey, 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 it's Tia, baby. And I am back with another video. So, I'm going to do a quick video on your girl, Marcella Kithania, a.k.a. Selena's mother, a.k.a. the wife of Abraham Kithania. So, I have got a comment saying, what are my thoughts on marcella and through all the you know the selena shenanigans you know the fact that selena passed and you know what's going on today like what is marcella's thoughts well of course i don't know verbatim what her thoughts are because i am not in her head and i'm not saying this to be you know mean or anything i'm just saying you know it's true but what i can give is my opinion which i'm assuming that's what that um, this person wants me to do. So my opinion about Marcella throughout all of this, you know, this past 25 years since her daughter has tra tragically, you know, passed away, I would say she's just like any other mother or parent who's lost a child. The difference is she's in the limelight. So, yes, I had to wash clothes so excuse the noise so like i said marcella is just like any other parent that may have lost a, a child and you know when you lose a child i don't know how that feels but when you lose a child you know any parent will you know feel a bunch of emotions because it's not in the order of things usually the order of things is the parent leave you know is the first to leave but she lost her child at such a young age and that's that's a distraught feeling so i'm sure she felt uh, years of guilt and i will explain why i said guilt she probably felt you know, years of resentment, and I will tell you why I feel that she was resent, felt resentment. She probably felt years, of course, of sadness and grief that comes with it. She probably felt years of confusion. She probably felt years of anger and, you know, depression. All of that is in, is in the midst of depression. So she, I'm sure she felt all of those, but I'm going to explain why I said resentment and guilt and because the other ones are usually the norm guilt is also a norm but i would say why about those two but the other ones are like a big norm for anyone who lost someone that's close to you um so why i said she was resentful she probably felt resentment towards i'm sure she probably felt resentment towards abraham because Abraham, because if it wasn't for Abraham, Selena would not be Selena because she didn't think about being a singer when she was little. She didn't think that that's what she wanted to do with her life. He wanted, he that was his dream because that's what he wanted to do when he was younger, but it did not work out for him when he was in a group. So when he saw Selena had a voice, he wanted to, do something about that so of course he he um had selena to practice and you know sing and then he he wanted it to be a family act so he had a, a b and suzette join and forced them to practice practice until they were progressing and then they you know progressed over time over time to the point where they became very successful so this was his dream and he, she probably felt, and I'm not saying this is true, I'm not saying that this actually happened, but I wouldn't be surprised if she did felt resentment towards Abraham because Abraham was the reason why Selena was even in the limelight in the music industry because that's something he wanted to do but couldn't do successfully. So he embedded it with his kids. So she probably felt that way towards him, you know, why didn't you protect her more? Why didn't, I'm sure those, I'm, I'm not saying this is true. This is my opinion. You know, she may have said, there may have been a few arguments in the house. You know, why didn't you protect her more? Why didn't you 
have more bodyguards or why didn't you you know fire Yolanda in the beginning when she stole the money why weren't police involved early on why 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 I'm sure that was a bunch of wives up in the household you know amongst her you know in the family or her towards Abraham or whoever um, so that's why I felt like she probably felt resentment because you know being a mother, I'm not a mother, but, you know, mothers are nurturers. They are the ones that, you know, they're, they're the ones that protect the children. Fathers do too, but the mother, a mother's love is just like no other. So she, you know, probably felt resentment towards him because of the fact that he was the one that initiated the singing career and all of that. Now, why I said guilt, she probably felt a little bit of guilt because, you know, she's still living her life. And, you know, maybe at times when she's happy, when she's, you know, having a good time, you know, after years of Selena being gone, she might feel a little guilty about that because Selena isn't here to experience life, to experience you know, her nephews and nieces growing up, her experience of being a mother herself and all of that. And she probably feel a little, a little guilty for, you know, experiencing a longevity, you know, a longevity worth of life where Selena's life was cut short. So she might feel a little bit of guilt about that. That's normal in the signs of grief. You're going to feel a little bit of guilt depending on the, the circumstances of that person's demise. And then, um, so also I want to say anger because I did say anger was a norm, but why I'm gonna explain why I felt like she was probably angry at times. Like I said, she probably, I'm sure Abraham was like her human punching bag. Not saying that she hit him, but I'm sure that that was probably the person that she put all her anger out on that she put all of her frustration out on because he was the one that was supposed to protect her. He was the manager. He wanted all of this. And, you know, I'm sure that she felt all those things on him because he she trusted him not only as her husband not only as their father but as their manager to protect selena at all costs because this is something that you wanted why did you protect her at the at the most vulnerable time at all times you were protecting her from chris and i'm sure she probably brought that up too making their life a living hell when you didn't even protect her from yolanda so i'm sure maybe i'm not saying this is true but maybe she brought that up too i mean because it wasn't like he was hiding his feelings towards chris his hatred towards chris and all of that he you know was very vocal about that so i'm sure maybe though that that um came up in in the arguments or in the discussions at home so, and then the fact that, you know, it's, it seems as though Abraham, you know, tried to keep Marcella out of the spotlight as much as possible. I don't know if that was her wishes. I don't know. Maybe she didn't want to be in the spotlight. Maybe she wanted to live a, a, a life of normal, normalcy. I don't know because I wasn't there. But I'm just giving my perspective or my opinion about this, the situation. But, you know... Yeah, I just feel like, I just hope that in the midst of those 25 years, I hope that she gotten some type of counseling. I'm sure she, I'm, you know, I know they're all religious and all of that. Like, I don't know a lot about, I don't know anything about Jehovah Witness. I don't know how Jehovah Witness handled, you know, loss, grief. I don't know. I don't know how they handle those situations, but I feel like for her own mental state, aside from religion i hope she sought some type of counseling you know to deal with the stages of grief you know from after losing a child because that's traumatic for any parent you know who loves their child and who was close to their child now i don't, I don't know about abraham i'm not saying maybe he has his own way of handling grief which is maybe denial because some people that is a stage of grief is denial so maybe he just lived his life in denial to to keep from being sad I don't know or to keep working to numb the pain I don't know I just felt like the way he handled things 
by rushing a movie to come out and all that, it doesn't look right on his behalf. It looked like you were hot, you're trying to hide something, or it looks like you're, you know, in for the money. Because I don't understand why you waited, why you did, why you, it took you only a week after she died to start looking for people to play your daughter. Like, I feel like they should have took some years off out of the spotlight, out of the media to just focus on being a family and getting through that tragedy together until they fully heal or closer to fully healing, then coming out with a movie years later, not a week later and all of that. It's just, I just felt like preparing for that movie was too soon and they needed, they should. And then, like I said, you know, Chris just losing his wife. And I will say this, was Suzette made a point in one of those interviews back then when it happened. She said, yes, it's a hurtful thing. And I'm not quoting, you know, verbatim because I don't remember everything she said, but in the essence of what she said, yes, all of them are hurt. But at the end of the day, what makes them feel better is that she goes home to her. She has someone to go home to. She has her husband and kids to go home to, to kind of cope, help her cope with it and keep her mind off of it. Marcella and Mar uh, Abraham have each other. A.B. has had his wife at the time, whoever he, he was married at the time. He had his wife and kids to kind of get his mind off of things. Chris had Selena, and he, Selena's no longer here. So he, kept, he, was go he was going home to an empty house, and it was a constant reminder that my wife is gone. So, you know, that's, a, that's traumatic for somebody. And that's like... And then you coming out with this movie, you know, and he's involved with it and he needs his time to heal. He needs counseling and all of that to heal. But he didn't get that, obviously, because he was on drugs. He ended up being on drugs and alcoholism and all of that, trying to find ways to escape, which didn't help. So, yeah, I just think that I just hope that they all got counseling you know, within those 25 years. And I hope Mar this video is about Marcella and I'm focusing on Marcella. I just hope she got the counseling that she needs, the prayers that she needed. And I hope she looks good, especially for her age. She looks really good. She looks like she's pro um, progressing well, that she's, you know, doing well. I still see hurt in her eyes. When I do see her recent pictures, I still see the hurt in her eyes. But not, you know, hurt like she's angry, but just hurt that she isn't, that Selena isn't here to share this success with her, you know? So, yeah, I just hope that she is doing well. I hope that she is, you know, doing the things she, st she wanted to do or wants to do. I hope she's coping well. I hope that Abraham is treating her well. I hope that he is, you know, protecting her and, you know, continuing to, you know, help her cope if that's, if he even did it. I hope that he's doing that and did that and continuing to do that and all of that. And so, yeah, so that was my short opinion about what I think Marcella could be going through, could have been going through, or could be going through, and all of that. So yeah, be on the lookout for my Q&A video, because I did a poll, and a lot of you guys said yes to the Q&A, so I currently have you guys' um, questions. If you have more questions, please DM me. I have dm me on instagram or you can comment below under the poll that i put on put on there and i'll be back with another video on friday